Thanks, Chris. Sarah Palin has definitely connected with voters. She was recently in Springfield, Missouri campaigning, and I asked her enthusiastic faithful what brought them out to support their candidate for some hardball in the heartland. Sarah excites me. She's, um, she has grounded ethics and morals, foundation of what I believe the country was founded on, the things that were important to our founding fathers. Dignity and integrity, basic just morals of right and wrong, and she has a way of bringing those out in a very passionate way. Better looking than the other ones, and well, it's a little more in line with our beliefs than pretty much anybody else that's out there. First and Second Amendment, not necessarily in that order. Uh, a lot of it. I can't even pinpoint one thing. Um, there's a lot. So, <laughs> just everything, I guess. <laughs> she rocks. She's a conservative. She's for uh, lower taxes, less government, less government inter interference, and uh, for pro-growth, and for strong military, and for drill here, drill now, which we need. <laughs> Energy <laughs> independence. Hey. She's very, very pro-life and yeah, for somebody to stand up for a value like that in today's society is just awesome. Just really exciting to see a woman that is so strong on that. The common thread that runs through Palin supporters is her every person connection. She's 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 everything. She's a she's a wonderful mother. She believes in everything that that uh, she's pro life. She's she's just uh, she's just a good person. She came in out of nowhere, and I, I love her. Well, she's my kind of people. She's real. Read her biography. She's incredible. She's got an amazing character, and that's what I vote for. I vote for character. She is a woman that has done it all. I mean, she's she's done it all. She's raised five kids. She's been a sportscaster. I mean, she's just, she hunts. I mean, you know, that just speaks uh, volumes to women out there. She's a true inspiration. These supporters see Sarah Palin as a new face of the Republican Party. She's a true conservative. That's what excites us about it. Yeah. Sarah yes, Palin yes, is yes, the face yes. of the new yeah. conservative yeah. Republican yeah. Party. Absolutely. They're going to make it. Yeah. They're going to make it. She's a new face. Yeah, she's young. She's the new. I'd say she's more like a Reagan than a, than a Bush. So We think there's a lot in store for Sarah Palin. Oh, yeah. She identifies with a lot of people. There's no doubt that Palin has a head start on other Republican candidates in 2012. Whether Sarah Palin is the new face of the Republican Party is yet to be seen. The traditional Reagan conservatives will certainly be taking on Sarah Palin and other social conservatives for the control of the GOP. The Republican Party may want to take a close look at my home state of Kansas to see how well the Republican Party fares when controlled by the social conservative wing. Here in Kansas, the reddest of red states, Democrats control the office of the governor, lieutenant governor, and attorney general all because the social conservative controlled Republican state party can't find enough votes outside their base. Moderate Republicans, Democrats, and independents team up to elect Democrats to run the state of Kansas. One has to wonder if this is the model the National Republican Party wants to emulate. Sarah Palin may be the new poster child for social conservatives, but projecting her as the new face of the Republican Party may be a little premature. Next week, we'll be talking with Kansas Governor Kathleen Sebelius and find out in more detail how the Democrats are winning state-level elections in the red state of Kansas. For Hardball in the Heartland, I'm Mick Larson in Overland Park, Kansas.